Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Corrigato. Welcome to today. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a massive, awesome walking with wisdom. You're going to want to listen to this over and over and over because it is going to be so encouraging. That's what God's Word does is it's good for edification, admonishment. It is good for any correction. Well, guess what? Today is a correction change in a God way where God is just going to bring such wisdom and truth to your members that you're going to be filled with excitement and hope to run your race. Amen. I see Donna and Katie. God bless y'all. Love y'all. Thank you for joining in. It is so awesome to have you on here. I see Rebecca Skeens. Good morning. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. And I see Margaret Holt. I love you, Margaret. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, Katie. So, oh my goodness, course correction. How many of you have ever been going some way in life? Thank you, Donna. God bless you. And you wanted to have a course correction, you know, to change. And you think about a train and when a train is going to a destination and how they have to do the changes in the train by changing the tracks because if they didn't do that the train wouldn't get to its destination oh my goodness today is that day for you in Jesus name and so we were just so refreshed in Savannah and FYI it is our favorite destination we're gonna go back next year it is perfect for those of you who don't want to have a schedule and going all these different places, you can just relax and you can go at your leisure. You can come back and rest. The weather was perfect. The high was in the mid eighties because the rain and the clouds had come in. And every time we walked outside, it was not raining and it was absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> and we're gonna go this the same time next year. The week before, they said it was like 114 degrees in Savannah. Well, it was only a high of an 87 at the highest when we were in Savannah. It was phenomenal. And so we just got so rested. And FYI, later on, I'm going to be doing the Logic coffee from Medair as Rich, my assistant, will be aiding me. <laughs> as I do that video later. So that video will come on later for those of y'all who are interested in such a phenomenal neurotrophic for your brain and it is great brain health. So let's get to course correction, okay? And so we have Penny Investments. Hey, Amy, I love you. We have Penny Investments and in certain, just a couple of cryptocurrencies, well really three. Three cryptocurrencies we have taken wisdom where you know rich has a very very small retirement where his check is taken out a little bit of his check is taken out every paycheck for his retirement fund and for my retirement fund we did some investigations and we thought because of the dollar and inflation that it, I would lose money if I did a certain regular retirement funds or any type of funds in that manner. And so as a result, praise God, I'm so glad. Uh, I think that, let me, let me make sure I see who that is. Sharon, praise God, Sharon. And so, hey, Kathy, God bless you. And Kathy's got, got a video that I'm going to share later on about my book, Mindfulness of Mind of Christ, which is phenomenal in my opinion. <clears throat> and so we've got penny investments that we do. And I'm talking about literally pennies as we put in just a little bit for a retirement for me, so to speak, because I don't have a retirement fund. You know, ministers, we don't have retirement funds. We just get what we get and we trust in the Lord and he is so good. Amen. And uh, the health and wellness has super helped. So I'm super excited about that. Where the health and wellness coaching has helped bring in an income to some measure as I minister 
and still do what I do, but I also get to coach people and use my psychotherapeutic background professionally, as well as my health and wellness background and my minister background and minister to the whole person, coach the whole person, which I absolutely love doing in my law degree for those clients that have to navigate court cases, which I do have several that have to navigate court cases. And so as a result of the penny investments, we have chosen for our own particular wisdom that God has given us. Hey, Maria, crypto. So some of y'all have heard me talk on and off about crypto currency and some of the things in which we have decided to do. And so praise God, Amy. And thank you. Yeah, Amy's one of those that I coach. And so as a result, we made some penny investments because some of the cryptos that we've investigated, which my son, my oldest son, Christopher, is just really schooled in. He's educated himself on crypto. And a lot of people that I know that I'm close to have been doing crypto for a while. And so we got in a couple of cryptocurrencies that are validated and uh, verified and have uh, credibility, okay? And so lately, it's been what they call a bear market. As there's been a recession in the markets, like with Wall Street and with the Fed and all that, there's been a recession. You know, some of the cryptocurrencies, all the cryptocurrencies kind of went into that recession with all the markets. And so the market, when it falls, is called a bear market, okay? And that means, in my opinion, that there's a fire sale. And it's not the time to get out of those currencies. And my, and my uh, uneducated, okay, experience and uneducated anything with crypto, because believe me, I'm not educated. And I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you my own experience because I am not an expert, believe me, in any currencies. But in my own gut instinct for me, I saw it as opportunity to not stop putting my pennies into crypto, but to look at it as an opportunity for a fire sale. Everything's on sale. So that's when you want to buy. And you definitely don't want to sell because you're going to lose money, in my opinion. And I don't want to waste the money that I've invested. And so instead of selling any of the little currencies that we have in crypto, we just continue to do what's dollar cost averaging, which means we're going to buy every week. We've got a commitment every week to buy. And for me, it's $50, $50 a week. And so $50 a week, I put into cryptocurrencies, and that, for me, is going to be my retirement fund, which I'm never going to retire. So, okay, I'm going to live to be 100 years old, at least, I hope, and it's going to take me being 100 years old to write all the books that were prior workbooks for God's Bible School of the Prophets, God's Bible Healing of the Soul. So, we already determined it's going to take me at least into my 80s to finish all those books. And so I'm going to live a long time. And so I need the finances for that. And so as a result, that is one of the choices we make. And so a bear market means things are going down. But get this, a bull market means it's going up. Okay. It's going up. And so this is what was so funny. We were in Savannah and a couple of blogs, praise God, Amy, a couple of blocks from our street, which we walked, we walked everywhere. The location we were at in Savannah was amazing. We just kept the car parked. And FYI, if you ever go and you stay in the downtown area, you need to go to an awesome service for the city, which is Savannah Parking and Mobility. And you get a parking pass so you don't have to feed the meter or do the app, the Savannah Parking app. Like we have mobile parking apps here in Birmingham. You don't have to do that. 
you just get a pass and you pay $15 for a 24-hour pass, $24 for a 48 pass, and so we did two passes, 48-hour and 24-hour, uh, and so we just bought the passes and put them in the front of our windshield so we didn't have to feed the meter, and we kept our car parked the whole time we were there, and we just walked everywhere because we were in walking distance. And so the main street that we walked down to the river and back was Bull Street. And I took a picture of it and sent it to Chris. And I said, Chris, look, this is Bull Street. And I'm just going to grab it and know that God is telling me that it's going to go up that the markets are going to go up and that means boom explosion and i love this because i've talked about N nicholas nassim talib in a couple of my books destiny and also mindfulness and mind of christ and i've talked about his two theories which is anti-fragile and randomness fooled by randomness and so i talk about in my book destiny with esther is about the book anti-fragile which Nicholas, Nicholas Nassim Tlaib wrote. He was on Wall Street. He was an economist turned philosopher. And so I take some of his economy philosophies and I apply them to scripture and to real life. And so anti-fragile is the opposite of fragile. It means the more that you keep throwing the box down that has something that's anti-fragile, the stronger it gets. You know those boxes that have the tape fragile on it that come to your apartment? Well, let's just say a box and it has you in it and it's taped with anti-fragile. And let's say it's on a truck and it gets hit and it gets thrown down and it gets thrown everywhere. Instead of the object inside of it breaking, it actually gets stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's that whole philosophy. And I compare that to Esther in the book. And I also talk about Nicholas Nassim Tlaib in the relation to volatility and volatile markets. And what he talks about is that so many people are not willing to take risks and they want certainty and they want to get market uh items in which stocks they can purchase that aren't as volatile, that aren't going through that high, low, like this, you know, because it just makes them feel better. And Nicholas Nassim Tlaib says they're actually doing the wrong thing. The best thing you can do in his expert opinion is to get stocks, or let's just say I'm looking at crypto and get it and go with the volatility because the volatility are risks in which there's great rewards. And so let's just say in life that like we're looking at a bear market and that means prices just drop. And let's just say you're going through life and all of a sudden it just seems like every negative thing is happening against your person. You have to understand you're in a volatility situation in which the volatile things at life, the king, kingdom of heaven suffers violence, the violent things at life are coming against your person. And let's just say you feel like you can't hear God. You feel like God's nowhere around, which is a lie because he will never leave us nor forsake us. But you just feel like things are not going your way. That is what Joseph experienced. That is what David experienced in the wilderness. That is what Joseph experienced in the pit at Potiphar's house and the dungeon. And it didn't kill him. It made him stronger for the call. And let's just look at him going into second in command at Egypt from the dungeon to the palace as bull markets, because that means that all of a sudden it goes upward and everything's exploding, and it is jubilee, it is amazing, and the markets have turned to your favor. You know what? That is actually scriptural. And you'll say, Robert, I don't know where that is in scripture. Oh, I am so glad that you asked me that on the other side of this video, because it is in scripture. It is Psalm 92.10. It is Micah 4, 12, and 13. It is the wild ox, the bull the bull anointing. And so you think about a bear 
and a bear runs and a bear mauls and kills. And so a bear market means, you know, just get ready. It is going to be oh, difficult. Just hang in there. But think about what changes a bear. Honey, okay? And with you learning to just be, to just enjoy life, enjoy the moment, it is like honey in that bear market season. And you just have such shalom and peace and you don't feel what others are feeling in the atmosphere. You don't feel those assaults. Instead, you just say, I'm just going to be and I'm going to thank God for today's life and today's gift in life, whatever that might be. And I'm just going to praise God and I'm going to continue to praise God. Then all of a sudden, like Joseph and David and Esther, things take a turn and everything starts turning your way and you start having what I call crazy favor. And that's the bull market. So think about bulls, the wild ox, the new anointing, the fresh anointing, which by the way, you'll see in the new book, the forbidden fruit, the spiritual disease is the anointing of life. When you have life, I'm telling you, when you are filled with the life of God, it is Jubilee. It is Jubilee. It is, uh, uh, it is living in Jubilee. It's not just seasonal. It's every day. It's a time zone. And you're going to find that out in the new book. It's a time zone. It's a dimension that you live in. And I give you a hint of that in my book coaching session on my YouTube channel, Robin Kirby Gatto, session 18, book coaching, where I talk about the new time zone, and that's the kingdom of heaven. And so let's look at a bull. What does a bull do? It just charges. You've heard the saying, that person's like a bull in a china shop, okay? Well, that's how it is when you are filled with the life of God and you're just being and you're not letting fears come within and without of your person. You're just being just like people that have cryptocurrencies or stocks even for that matter. And they're looking at the markets and they're saying, oh my goodness, Bitcoin's going down. This is going down. Oh my goodness. We're not looking at it like that. We're like, praise God. It's going to work to our favor. Praise God. This and that. Praise God. We're filled with excitement, with hope. Think about Joseph in the pit. He had those dreams that God gave him. And he was saying, praise God, I don't know how this is going to work, but God's going to work all things to my good because he gave me these dreams. He's at Potiphar's house getting educated in areas of finance, of management and administration to be ready to be second in command in Egypt. And he's probably saying, praise God, this is working to my good. And then he's in the dungeon and who knows what threshing and pride had to be removed from his members, the pride of life, so that he would live the abundant life. That's what this is about, saints of God. It is about getting the pride of life out of our members that if you can rejoice in the hard seasons, in what others experience as a recession, it is not a recession for you. It is a procession as a bull going forward, charging into your destiny. And that's what this is about. This is about a new anointing that you're experiencing life abundantly, no matter what's happening. And that you are rich in faith inside of you and you're rich in hope. Is that not phenomenal? And so the whole time that we kept walking down Bull Street up and down for two days, uh, Friday and Saturday, to go throughout Savannah, I just had to laugh. And even some of the buildings, I love, they have their addresses and it's so beautifully written and engraved or just uh, put into the stone. And it's beautiful. And it says like 200 Bull Street. And it's just beautiful. And I just wanted to laugh and say, God is good. You know, I'm not celebrating uh, that things are hard. 
I'm doing First Peter 1, 6, and 7. I'm exceedingly glad in these fiery trials and tribulations that the testing of my faith, which is more precious than gold, will redound to my glory, praise, and honor when Christ Jesus inside of me is revealed. How many of you need hope in the time of recession to know it's not a recession, it is a jubilee? Now, that is potent. That is being strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. <clears throat> Whatever reality is in here, this reality inside of your body has to change first before the reality outside of you changes. So think about that, saints of God, and you be that wild ox that is lifted up off the threshing floor. And I've written extensively about that in Rev 22 too, as the wild ox is made of components that are in Nikola Tesla's induction motor. And it shows you the power of Holy Spirit. And it shows you how those <clears throat> creatures that God created, how those components of iron and copper actually work with movement. Is that not amazing? See, the Holy Spirit is in you and you have got to connect and agree with truth and the will of the Father, which Holy Spirit will always testify of Christ Jesus and never speak his own message. John 16, 13. And as you agree, woo, wherever two or three touch and agree in faith, it is done. Saints, get ready. We're in a bull market, a wild ox anointing. Do you feel it? Amen. God bless you. I love you. And I will be doing the Logic Neuro Neurotrophic Coffee video in about a couple of hours. You'll want to join me for that and hear about that as well. God bless you. I love you. See you later.